Now the big test though is the tape measure. So we were, we were at 31. We were 31 in the front. This is what we got. And it might settle a tiny bit oh. still. What's happening? Thanks for stopping by. We got something pretty cool today because what this is is a very easy mod you can do on your vehicles. It's super simple and it's super cheap. But we got a special vehicle and a special guest. You remember our friend Jeff? What's happening, Jeff? And of hey. course, over here, we got the director in his chair. But Jeff, what are we doing? What do we got? First, what is this vehicle? This is an 08 Escape. Kind of unusual because it's the hybrid. Right, right. So, it is a hybrid. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah because when you came in i i was weird i was like you can't even hear that sucker so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these inch and nine sixteen spacers, Ooh, spacers to the front mm -hmm. that claims that it's going to raise the front two inches right and the thing is that's not two inches that's not two yeah what inches. is this actually it's oh, inch okay, and it's a half not quite even an inch and a half just about just about okay but there's that whole weird shock sort of angle thing that the director was trying to explain math. to me. Math. Math or something. Somehow Geometry. somehow when it's at an Geometry. angle, Whoa, I it the lift is greater than if it was straight. I don't quite get it, but we're going to see. So the idea, though, let's get a nice shot of this, is we're just going to level this baby out. Yeah, right now. Let's take a yeah, look Yeah, what do we got actually on the front? So, oh, dang, we are just under 31. I mean, it's pretty close, isn't it? And what is the what's our target? So thirty two and a half, roughly. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And and what was the front? Thirty one. <laughs> thirty one. So we're right on an inch and a half. So this. So okay. So maybe it's good. It's not a full two inches if it was advertised. Right. We shall see. Yeah. So it it should be pretty simple. Um, we're gonna get it lifted up. Start tearing it apart. Yeah, and we're gonna see how much time this takes too. So oh, yeah, we're gonna we're time gonna it. time it because th this really is hopefully a very simple project, and <laughs> hopefully, and it can make a really big difference though on the way the vehicle looks. I love it. You saw what we did on the Raptor; that was not simple, but the, at all. <laughs> that, that was far. That's the measure of our. It's not as bad as a Raptor. So this should be pretty cool. But this should be really. really it should be awesome. I love it. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Let's All right. get started. Let's go. Let's go. 15, go. 915. Action. <laughs> and the directors. That's our job. So let's walk through real quick the steps. So we got to unbolt that sucker from the top, right? That's the last step. That is the last step. Don't do well, that first. Well, disassemblies. Yeah, the last disassembly. Yeah, yes. the last disassembly. So yeah, we got to jack it up. Jack it up. Uh, get wheels off. And disassemble everything down below. And then drop it from here last. Cool. Give her sure. Uh, we'll let somebody else set the jack stands. Yep, I'll do okay. that. I think that's pretty. Off. Oh, Came okay. right off. Look at that. And putting the nut back on. Very good. Putting the bolt back on. Put the bolt back on the bolt. That way you don't lose it. Let's Pro see. tip. We're gonna need. Is that gonna put it down? Already? Probably. All right, All right, Jeff, what did we do down here? So, we, we made some good progress. We got the brake lines off. We got this sensor wire off, uh, and we just pulled the lower two bolts. So, now this is, it's all free. It's flowing down there. Yeah. And nothing we, attached to it, so we don't have to worry about it getting you know, yanked off or anything. We want to make sure that, I'll put this bungee cord on, just keep the, the CV from pulling out. We don't want that to, we don't want to mess right. with that. Right, that is an important tip. So explain that just a little bit that you, you just said, because that's a bad day potentially if that slides out. Yeah, yeah, and because it will not, I mean, it, will, it, it will go back in, but it can, but so we don't want we're to. talking about is it pulling out of this boot, there's a gear in there, Yeah. and the shaft can slide out. Right. If you let that drop too far, and then it can be a little tough to get back in. So I, I think we're all right. It's. Hopefully we'll we'll have it back in there. 
soon. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome, man. What's so, our next step? Our next step is to uh, pull the four bolts from up top, and then this should just this should drop right down. Cool. Let's do it. Sweet. Onto the fourth one. I want it falling on the CV boot. No. Okay, now that, that somebody come down here and get it from me. Got it, Tom. Thank you. Yes, the CV boot, which we did on my life's car. Yeah, we don't want the strut falling on the CV boot and putting a nice gouge slash hole slash slash no. into it. Look at that puppy. It's out, man. That's it. That's actually it's somewhat. actually really clean. Yeah. <laughs> That's just this what I was gonna call it on. The, the video I watched, the guy actually had to get a whole bunch of rust and stuff knocked off of there before he was able to put his on. That yeah. one's clean. Easy. Easy then... easy. Okay, so now oh those don't need to be Yeah, those will be fine. So so let's talk about this. One thing that the concern was is that these studs were gonna be too long, they're gonna hit the bottom of this. Mm hmm But it's not, it's just perfect. Actually. Uh, gonna take a little Oh, right, right. So you have to lift it up maybe a little bit to get them started, but. Yeah. Look at that. Those are 14s, so. Yep. I've got a ratcheting 14 millimeter wrench that. Oh, yeah, those might really cool fit. ones. Might be too tight in there, though. You don't want to so. get it stuck in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, later, one right. tip while you're doing this. What is that tip, Mr. Jeff? Yeah, so, oh, So yes. on the top of the. The factory plate, there's that notch mm -hmm. on, the, on the spacer. There's also a notch. Good thing to line up. Line up. But the top this, rotates. And the top rotates. Yeah, so this spins independently from this. Yeah, see right. how he's spinning that right there? So, <laughs> Tom suggested we look for the dirt notch. The dirt notch. The, the notch that's in the top of the plate. And you could probably even see it up there. It's on the inside. Right yes. Yeah, so See that notch? Yeah, the dirt, the dirt notch, which matches that little puppy right there. And that's how you make sure you got it lined up. Well, let's see. Pro tip. Can... Okay, so that's a little that's tight. tight, but it's it's pivoting. You and... have those nuts somewhere easy to get at? Yep, right up here. Okay. Oh no, I actually. They're not playing nice. That's not fitting. So one thing we can oh. do is take that top and sit it on top of that one and see what lines up. But this ain't gonna stop us. Minor inconvenience at best. Let's see what we got. Hmm. So it's like it goes in the top hole, but there's that plate on the bottom. It isn't quite lined up, right, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's um, these two like that. seem you to rotate be. Rotate it. Any position work better? Oh, nope. Suck a fish. Slight problem. <clears throat> It's not a problem. It always happens in projects or something. This is our this is our something. But you see, now we know what the something is, and that's a good thing. We're not waiting and anticipating the something. Now we know what the something is. And perhaps the idea is maybe we can drill out or file some of those holes. This is it. This is the one. Mm. Almost the one. Yes! Yes! So, we, <laughs> the cameraman was slacking, but we not only got it in at the top, there's actually enough room, is it, it's pretty, looks pretty tight, like they're probably in much there extra. Is. No, but just, I, I didn't have to put a strap on it and ratchet it or anything, but it's. Nice, but those holes line up even with the extra space, so. Yeah. Now you've got full travel if you go jumping, dude. We're you didn't have to. full travel before. We're gonna jump. What kind of nonsense is that if you can't take your rig jumping? And then we're gonna do a tug of war. A tug of war audition. <laughs> with the hybrid escape. Hybrid escape. And the Raptor. Tug of war competition, hybrid escape versus Ford Raptor. Who will win? 
I don't know. You've got this leveling kid on right now. But then, but then again, the Raptor has a leveling kid too. Might be pretty even. Or my transmission will blow and you will win. <laughs> oh, look at that. that. What the heck are we dealing with here? How in the flips? How is that impossible? That shouldn't change down there. That should be the same. Why? Because this moved down inch and nine sixteenths. True, but but this is bolted no. and that to the same thing. Right? Oh, uh, are you talking about that reaching? Uh, the kid, oh. the kid had to put some weight, the weight of the car on it to get it to reach. That's what I was thinking. We might just have to wait until we lower it. Ah, yeah. Yeah. That's what he had to do. Or we, or we put a jack under it. Make sure, because I suppose you should check those after you drive it a bit, but this is sort of putting pressure on right now. Kind of you know, up. it'll need alignment and this. I think we're ready to uh, tighten everything up. Put some, put some torque to it. Sweet. It's not ever coming off. Nope, that's done. Oh, it scared me, Jeff. It makes me nervous. I don't even want to film it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want any documentation. I don't. I don't. I, I think those are super tight. I think you're good. Okay. Snap. <laughs> oh no, not another snap. Did you hear that? I hate it when they do that. He does this all the time. And this guy shows up and he's doing it too. He's doing it to himself. There's no snapping. No snap. Yeah, yeah, he does it to me when, when, he, when he's taping something. He's always like, "You're gonna go stop." <laughs> I hate it. Well, you're dead. Yeah. Straight on out, man. All right. Now let's get this, this puppy is, in there. Let's take some nagging. Yeah. A little oh, finesse. Man. I'm too slow. Here's the correct hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the correct <laughs> door hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We're gonna start with this one right here, and we're gonna switch to a different one. There we go. This one goes on. All right. You have to. No, this is about what you had to deal with on this side. Yeah. Sweet. Nice job. Nice job. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Jacob. You're welcome. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob. Don't be stupid, Jacob. Hammer, hammer time. Whoa. Oh, careful. Snap. Oh, that was scary. That was so scary. I thought that stripped. But do be careful with this side a little bit. This is the ones that kind of were a little bit stripped. I don't think you guys much meat to work with on this okay. one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Whoa, look, look at that. Easy, Jake. Yeah, Shoot. you need an alignment. Holy smokies, man. And tires. <laughs> That's well, good. you know what? If he lines it back up, at least so hopefully That's get... That's good. I want a new tire. See? That's perfect. Sometimes you just need a reason. The rears don't look great either. I wonder why they've been wearing so bad in the inside. Do you rotate front to rear? He hasn't I, had them. I've only had this a couple uh, months. So somebody they else... probably did. Yeah. And the front was eating them. Yeah. yeah. Just getting the alignment, people. Getting tired. worn on the inside. Yeah. Ready, Jake? Yeah. This side's gonna come down real fast. <laughs> Hour and 15 minutes. So, this is gonna be a little bit off. Let's try to bounce it a little bit. Roll, roll it, back, drive it down the driveway and bring it back up in is the best way to get it to settle. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because the tires. Bounce out in the street a little. My running boards now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta get that. <laughs> oh, we got it. Did you? <laughs> you got this puppy. Oh, it's making noise. It is making noise. Hey, Bear, you better use that running board getting out now, man. <laughs> okay, Whoa. so we we just backed it in now because what happens when you have it raised up is the tires. They kind of lean in, right? And then you sit it down and now that's kind of artificially raising it. So you back it in out a little bit and then we check it. But dude, oh, what's the time? What's the time? It was an hour and, it was actually an hour and 13 minutes. Dude, that's a new record. That was from before we that's started That's a total new record. Until the time we closed the hood. That's fantastic. Did you see how fast that was? It was? Now the big test though is, 
the tape measure. So we were, we were at 31. We were 31 in the front. This is what we got. And it might settle a tiny oh. bit still. Look at that. 32, just over 32 and a half. And it's probably going to settle a little bit because the the back was 32, just under 32 and a half, right? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's check the other what? side. I'm right on that crack. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, and that one's just slightly under probably. So when it settles, it's probably going to be a good inch right on. Let's take a let's take a look here. I just want to kind of take a step back and. Oh man, I like that. I think that looks really good. I like it. Yeah. I mean, it just it just it just makes the whole rig look a little different. Like when whenever we do this, to me, it makes it look like that's how it's supposed to be from the factory. You know what I mean? Personally, whenever you're doing a mod, if you do it so well that it comes out that it looks like that's how the fa that's how it should that's better than factory. Should have came that way. That's a success in my book. Well, we're going to wrap it up. We are definitely calling that one a success. I'd say this was a super win. It was super fast. It was pretty darn easy. I mean, I felt like it went pretty smooth with all the work I did. Even though that man over there did most of the work. Isn't it more fun to do it with friends, though? And speaking of that, thanks for hanging out. Just go enjoy the rest of your day. We hope you liked it. If you want to help us out, you can give a thumbs up or thumbs down. That's totally fine. They both help. And if you're feeling really froggy, leave us a comment. Tell us what we could do better, what we could do next. But just remember, froggy. we love you. Yeah, froggy. Mm -hmm. This man and this man, I'm going to sign you off with the fist bump of friendship. Whoop ow! <laughs> oh. Oh. Good thing I missed the car. Edit that one out. <laughs> this baby. Do it. Hybrid. That's to hide all the ugly Ford stuff under there. That's always to hide. Uh, ugly Ford. He had a Mustang, what? and he still no. does. No. He does. Don't blame Where him. is this Mustang that I supposedly own? <laughs> He's hiding it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my wife's Mustang, not mine. Found on no. road. Dead? La, 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 la. No. Fix <laughs> or repair daily? Fix or... Um... I can't think of Fruit, anything awesome. Orange. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> How you know if you had success on anything if it what, doesn't jump? What better test of a vehicle than jumping it? Than jumping. Yeah. You work on tires, take a jumping. Shocks jumping. So as a teenager in the night. plugs jumping. As a teenager in the 1980s, and we had the Dukes of Hazard, and we had the oh, Fall Guy, right. and we had the A-Team, oh, and man. we had Knight Rider. Knight Rider, yes, I remember that. In the 1980s, every vehicle on every TV show got jumped all the time. So, jumping. Was I questioning the You're director? questioning whether I did it right or not? Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go sit down.